For several hours on Sunday, the military engaged Islamic fighters Boko Ram as the insurgents attempt to take over Meiduguri, the capital of Borno State. The battle was barely a few hours after President Kudlov Jonathan had left the city, where he had gone for campaign. But the latest attack raises concern whether or not Nigeria can conduct elections in the Northeast. I can have a, a, an election. So we cannot truncate uh, this uh, process because some few central uh, districts are affected by Boko Haram. Election must go on. Although the military was able to stave off the intruders in May degree, another town, Mongunu, fell. It's barely two weeks to elections and attacks by Boko Haram have remained relentless, increasing casualty figures and leaving hundreds of others in a flight from terror. More attacks are expected because the objective of Boko Haram is to make sure elections are not held in the Northeast at all. In Adamawa, election was held uh, one of these years where the terrorist was even on. So, it is only those that are some local government that I will say I will, we will be endowed to hold elections, but not the whole state. The electoral body, INEC, has repeatedly said it will go on with the elections. The electoral umpire is making arrangements for internally displaced persons to vote. I believe in INEC, the capability of INEC. If INEC says election will hold it, will hold it. So we must listen to INEC. But the prospects of more attacks clearly makes me degree and other troubled areas a no-go area, with core members too afraid to walk in the area as electoral officers. The, the areas we can hold these elections, we should hold them. Because it is more important to keep the lives of these coppers safe than to put them in harm's way. Um, will you the... allow your son to, uh, to go to a place where others incited to call these uh, riots? The European Union observation team has left no one in doubt that it will stay away from the region during the polls. We are not in the northeast geopolitical zone. And the security conditions are such that we cannot undertake our long-term observation methodology in these states. Even the IDPs have expressed similar fear in their camps. The point of being scared is depends on the design of the polling unit. If you design the polling unit to be such that nobody should be scared of coming to vote, then they will not be scared to vote because nobody should know who you voted for in the first place. If you block those who are voting from those who are watching them vote, then nobody knows who you voted for. And I next should take note of that. It's a tough situation for Nigeria, and surely all eyes will be in the Northeast as the country goes into elections. Omo. Bazwai, AIT News, Abuja.